Hey everyone, it's Chriselle. How's it going? I'm really excited because today we are going to be playing a game from way back when. This is a flash game, so it should tell you how old it really is. You may or may not know, Adobe killed Flash in 2020. So it's really hard to play flash games um, unless you have some other software installed. Now, after a little sleuthing, I did figure out a way to access all of those games. And we're gonna do that today. It's 2 a.m. Let's get started. So I'm currently on the website Congregate. The game I'm gonna be playing is called Say of the Clock Tower. And this is a game I came across um, on a site called Mouse City. If any of you remember that site, it was essentially my childhood. This is really taking me back. And uh, you know what? I might shed a tear or two. All right. So I'm using the Supernova Launcher, which is um, my workaround for playing these games. It, there's a pop-up and yeah. Oh, I thought there was going to be an awkward period of time where I would have to entertain you while the game loaded, but guess not. Okay. All of these visuals are just hitting me. It's like a wave of nostalgia. And right away, we see some pretty amazing artwork. We have an androgynous person, uh, toothless, and we have amazing artwork. It's uh, very Gravity Falls. That's a compliment of the highest order. All right, so this does have a, a voiceover, which you're not going to hear, uh, simply because I haven't figured out the audio situation just yet. So yeah, where it's going to be a silent game with me giving awkward commentary throughout. Um, and it starts with, all right, so save the clock tower, save the clock tower. Hello, Celia. I'll need 200 copies of this flyer. It's for a good cause. I hand them out for free to promote the the hill valleys preservation society meanwhile celia's face is just like 200 copies that would be a hundred dollars oh it's two bucks per copy so a little math for you right there meanwhile this guy hmm okay 200 copies that would be a hundred dollars but i don't have that sum of money then you better go out there and raise it all right, so our mission, should we choose to accept, is to collect $200, or rather $100, so that we could print out 200 copies to save the clock tower. Are you ready? Gonna take that as a yes, let's go. Before we head out, uh, let's talk to this guy. Save the clock tower, save the clock tower. Sorry, lady, I'm all out of cash. I'm even trying to sell my guitar to make some money. Um, how much for the guitar? $20. Okay, interesting. So I'm just gonna hover all around to make sure I'm not missing any clues. Uh, this is a point and click game, so I'm gonna have to make sure. Um, all right, I could really use your wrench, may I take it? Of course not, but if you'll bring me something to eat, I might lend it to you for a minute or two. So you scratch my back, I scratch yours, got it. Uh, and then can we, oh, gosh. Lady, I'm in the middle of something here, not now. Alrighty, geez, we get the picture. So let's head out. There's nothing else to explore. Hill Valley Preservation Society. Oh gosh, I'm loving this artwork. It has a very cute color palette. I love the art style. It's a little messy, a little edgy, but very detailed, surprisingly detailed. Okay, I need to use an ATM card on that. Got it, and what is this? That's today's newspaper. I'll need a quarter to buy it. Oh gosh, everything in the cartoon world costs money. Uh, that is the Hill Valley Preservation Society stand. This is where I stand and shout at people, save the clock tower, save the clock tower. Interesting. Okay, that's a drain. So, so far we haven't collected any clues. Ooh, this guy is very um, Doc from Back to the Future. I presume you're conducting some sort of weather experiment. That's right, how did you know that? Ooh, I happen to have a little experience in this area. Well, be a pal and hand my 5 eighths wrench out of that toolbox. I have no idea what that is. There is no 5 eighths wrench in the toolbox. Great, Scott. Uh, don't worry, I'll get you a 5 eighths wrench in no time. Is this the wrench from the printer, print fixer guy back in the shop? 
probably. Nothing in here. Um, okay. That's the clock tower, I'm assuming, that we're trying to save. Moving on. Okay. So right here we have a hardware store, we have a diner, and we have an interesting looking guy, a hippie, uh, with a peace symbol, a peace necklace rather. Save the clock tower. Oh gosh, lady, redundant much? Yes, like I'm all in favor of saving the clock tower, but I don't have any money to donate for you, for you great cause. However, I can write a song to promote your goal. It's a very odd way of talking, but we'll go with it. A song? That's an interesting idea. What can I do to help? I don't know. Maybe like get me a piano so I can comp compose your song. Just just a piano, you know, just a casual piano. Uh, drag one over here um, and I'll make you a song. Okay, I'll do that. Okay, now we're gonna just hover randomly over different spots. Okay. Let's go into the hardware store. This store has been abandoned for the past six years and we at the Hill Valley Preservation Society think it should be preserved exactly the way it is as part of our history and heritage. So I'm guessing we can't enter, cool. To the diner. Oh, hold on a second. We missed a little clue right there. There's a coin stuck. There's a coin here stuck in a crack. I can't get it with my hands. Oh, so we need some sort of tool to pry it from the crack. Um, okay, we have a guy with 3D glasses, snazzy jacket, we have a cute little dino lady, and apparently it's 3 o'clock, which is almost the time uh, where I'm at, except the opposite, except the AM version. What am I even saying? Good God. This machine is broken, one of the pipes is missing. Let me guess, I gotta go find some pipes. Alright, so we have some trash in the corner. For some bizarre reason, the trash can is unlocked. Oh, is locked. Yeah, that's weird. Right, okay. Um, and then, it's the same thing. Uh, there are some burgers. Those are really weird looking burgers. They look like, they almost look like clams. Okay, how much for the burger? You can take one for free. I'm giving away free samples of my heavenly burgers. Damn. Thanks. Okay. Let's talk to her. Save the clock tower. Save the clock tower. Sorry, dear, but I'll need the cash I have for the ice machine technician. Okay. Let's talk to this guy. Oh, of course. I must be crazy. But since my birthday is tomorrow, I'm in a very good mood. Here, take my ATM card and take as much money as you need. What the heck? He's the solution to all our problems. That's it. That's the game right here. All right. Well, thanks for watching, I guess. That was easy. What's your PIN number? The date of my birthday. Okay. And how were we supposed... So what's the date of your birthday? Tomorrow. Oh, so now we're gonna have to find a calendar and figure out his birth date. Meanwhile, he just handed us his visa card. Very cool. All right, so I think we're done here. There's not much more to see. Let's move on. How do I escape or leave? There we go. Okay, uh, we talked to that guy. So nothing really to see. Um... Uh. Talk to this guy as well. Moving back to the first scene. Uh, oh, wasn't... Didn't this guy say that he was... Uh, 20 bucks. What do I do with the burger? Because that's our first clue. Uh, I'm just going to hand it off. Oh, right. This The printer guy said that he needed... A, that he was hungry. Um, here, I brought you a delicious burger to eat. That's nice. But where's the mustard? I can't eat a burger without the mustard. Jeez Louise. Gratitude. Ever heard of it? Fine. I'll get you the mustard. Okay, so... Um, I think we're heading back out. We're heading back out to look for the mustard. Was it in the diner itself? Did I miss it the first time around? Okay. Uh, I know this guy wanted... Uh, half eighths of a wrench or whatever the heck uh, this guy needs a piano this store is abandoned so we can't really interact with it and we are heading back into the diner because I do feel like I missed something in there um, a broken 
pipe. It's three o'clock. Today is special. Uh, no. Mouse can is locked. Am I missing? Was there a code somewhere that I'm that I'm not getting? A three. Oh. Unless the clock three o'clock is that was that supposed to be the code? Oh, I get it. This is a this is a math thing. Cool. Um, so let's see. Let's do, I think it's the sum of the rows um, horizontally. So that's nine plus seven, which is 16. Uh, 23. Uh, is it like, is this four? I'm seeing a pattern develop. So like that has to match that. The end rows match, the end rows match. This is really confusing. I have no idea what I'm doing. Someone help. Yeah, there's no. Oh, whoa. I have no idea what I just did, but it happened completely by accident. So we'll go with it. Okay. Uh, so we got the mustard. Was that in the trash can? Huh. Okay, we got the mustard. Um, let's head back to the printing shop the copy place and hand over the mustard to this guy. Here's your mustard. Thanks, you may borrow my wrench now. Alrighty, it's slowly falling into place. We hand over the wrench, which I'm assuming is the half eights of a wrench, whatever it was to this guy. Here, oh, five eights wrench. Thanks, I have something for you in return, a super powerful magnet. Oh, thanks. Maybe we'll bump into each other sometime in the future. Perhaps. Very sneaky reference. I'm assuming with this magnet, we get out the coin thingy. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Uh, what is this? Um, no, what do I do with the coin? Did, was there someone who said they needed a coin? Not the guy. Oh, to get a newspaper, to figure out the date. Oh, so then we can use the guy's visa card. Uh, right. So local farmer claims space zombie worked his barn. So it's Sunday, November 12th. And he was like, his birthday, what did he say? His, when did he say his birthday was? Yesterday? So no, November 11th? Let's double check. Oh, tomorrow, November 13th. Okay. Um, now, where is the ATM machine? Is the real mystery. Oof. Oh, there it is. All right. Uh, so, November 13th. So. 11, 1, 3. Okay. We did it. Um, all I can get is 20 bucks, but I need 100. Oh, well, I'll take it. Right, so we used the 20 bucks to buy this guy's guitar off of him. I have $20 and I want to buy your guitar. I have a strong inkling that the little hippie guy is going to be super happy with a guitar instead of a piano. I couldn't find you a piano, but I found a guitar. Cool, man. Let me try it. I should practice a bit more. You do that. Oh, I think he broke the glass. That's awesome. Anyway... We're going to steal that pipe. We're going to head back into the diner. And yep, let's fix the machine. Oh, here we go. It's another puzzle. I 
have no idea how to work this. Is this I see. All right, all right. So it's gonna be one. It's gonna be one giant connection. And the gray definitely goes with the gray. The red goes with the red. Got it. Okay, it's making sense so far. Um. Oh, I see. I see. Okay. Um, all right. It really takes those few pieces to come together and then the rest falls in place. Kind of like life. This is a metaphor for life. Huh. Alrighty. There, your ice machine is fixed. Yay! That's so nice of you. Since I won't need the technician anymore, here's a hundred bucks for your secret society organization. Not so secret, it's just saving the clock tower but okay thank you and we got a hundred bucks are uh, leaving the diner to go and get 200 copies to save the clock tower this is exciting this is one of the more straightforward um straightforward plots here's a hundred bucks print my flyers right now yes ma'am thank you for helping me to save the clock tower now i'm sure that mayor wilson will wait a minute what's that noise oh <sighs> Okay, that was a that was a plot twist. But there you go. That is my trip down memory lane. It was amazing. I'll see you very soon. Bye.